Top of the morning. It's about like a little after 5 a.m. Uh, and I don't know. I just I just want to talk about this shit for a second. Now, growing up and shit like that, you know, you had your, your so-called favorite relatives to be around and things of that nature. Dorothy Davenport was one of the ones that, you know, I would, you know, frequent the most and be around. And that was due to her having her cancer and doing her treatment and shit like that. You know, then she had my little cousin, Casado, which is her son, JD's daughter. And he's in prison and shit for all type of crazy ass shit. And um, that was where, you know, I spent the most of my time, you know, pretty much in my younger adult years when I was living in Asbury and she was living in Neptune. Now she's over there in Ohio. Now this is what the hell I want to say. When all of this shit was going down when my brother Keyshawn got killed and shit and they had this whole thing on Facebook or whatever. I specifically remember like Casada and Debrina and all of them like talking tough Tony ass shit like you know, because they was in a gang or whatever. Now, our sister being an easily, easily influenced, uh, you know, adult in the situation, she always let Casada run over top of her growing up. And my grandmother used to always warn her to, you know, to start setting boundaries with her because when she got older, she was going to be hard to contain. Now, bringing it up to the present, Casada is a grown woman. In a gang, you know, living a bisexual life or whatever the heck she got going on. She's very much indulged into drugs and things like that because I've spoken with Siobhan. And Siobhan has told me how they was contacting her and, you know, trying to get money up out of her. And also how Shanique, which is Casada's freaking... uh is her cousin because her father yeah is her first cousin or whatever because Shanique is Sharon's daughter which Sharon is Johnny's Davenport's sister so anywho Shanique is the fucking supplier of Casada and Debrina's fucking pill popping drug habit or whatever and Casada expressed that the reason why she couldn't get anything from Shanique is because she owed Shanique money for pills previously gotten from her. And it was a whole jealous situation of why Debrina was able to get her pills for free because Debrina is Shanique's daughter. But Casada and Debrina hang tough, you know. It's just a whole bunch of debacle that's going the fuck on over there in Ohio. But I say this to say that all of this bullshit about motherfucking having, you know, having plot to have a motherfucker person try to off me or do anything to me because it's gang related and gang tied and all of this other crazy ass bullshit that's going on. I know that, Aunt Sister, you were an acceptor of whatever plots and plans was, you know, going on for me, something to happen to me, because y'all can't deal with the fact that I don't give a fuck to speak up and say what the fuck's on my mind. I don't have no problem with defending myself. I've never been a fucking punk, but I've always had a big fucking heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. And where y'all got it fucked up is that y'all looked at the fact that I had a good heart and I was willing to, you know what I mean, be there on any fucking level for any one of y'all, right? Not only that, my sister, y'all had so much to say about my drug use and this and that and, you know, how I was out there all fucked up on crack and, you know, how my life was deteriorating, how I was falling apart, how I had took the DS from Casada and I sold it to get high and all of this other shit. 
But our sister, when you was living on fucking uh, Heck Avenue, you failed to fucking realize that when I was dealing with Pookie, motherfucking Mark Bell, and Mark Bell was motherfucking selling fucking uh, cocaine, you was asking me to ask Pookie to get fucking cocaine from you from this supposed friend at your job or whatever. And I, you know, I, I played along with you, but I knew all along that the shit was for you because I've come to your house numerous times after that situation had went down and I actually seen the shit in your nose and how you, you know what I mean? Like y'all really thought that I was fucking stupid in this whole motherfucking ordeal and situation, but I let y'all think what the fuck you wanted to think. Just like with Madeline and Pat and fucking Darlene Hall and all of them and what the fuck ever, whatever her name is that lived across the street from you too. The one that always had so much to fucking say. Her husband's name was Arnold. I know that fucking much. I can't think of what the hell her, her name, I think it's Linda or some shit like that. Or her sister named Linda. I wouldn't give a fuck what the hell, whatever. But I'm just thinking more and more on how everybody wanted to fucking gang up together to get with family on the phone and be back door and behind the scenes talking and all of this other shit. But not one time did y'all expose the fact that y'all was motherfucking getting motherfucking drugs and shit, talk about this for somebody else and all of this other shit. Motherfuckers over there, you got the whole fucking family fucking selling drugs to family and fucking sitting there doing blackmail and all of this other crazy ass shit and everybody is condoning that shit, but everybody fucking mad with me because I chose to fucking get my life together and do something different with myself and then y'all got yourselves and fucking jammed up ass motherfucking predicaments and shit like that because if my I'm not mistaken, I heard that fucking love bug, which is Gregory fucking Davenport was supposed to have uh, purchased a fucking home for you out there in Colorado because he was like, you know, this fucking real estate agent and he supposed to have custody of his son and doing all of this other big stuff or whatever. But how I know that y'all motherfuckers got other crazy ass shit going on because Shanique, you was fucking had the motherfucking contact business going on. You know what I mean? And was trying to get me, you know, hooked up in that. You was fucking with the girl Alza. And then you fucking started dealing with your children's dad, the Caucasian dude or whatever. But you always been a motherfucking, uh, you know, backhanded sliders, fucking scandalous motherfucker because your mother was. Look at her and fucking Frost, Sharon and fucking Frost and shit. And then they was into that fucking lifestyle. And then I remember, like I said, growing the fuck up, being around y'all motherfuckers. Like, all of the shit that I witnessed with being there with y'all and how your mom used to have y'all out there motherfucking stealing and all of this other crazy ass shit for Frost and because she would do anything for her daddy and all of this other crazy ass bullshit that y'all had fucking going on and how yo fucking mama, Sharon Davenport, loop my mom into the motherfucking prostitution and shit like that coming the fuck up because at first... You know, JD wanted my mom to do it. Then my mom wasn't with it. Then my mom started getting high some type of way. I know my mom got wrapped up with y'all and shit like that. Just like with Casey Blaine. All of the motherfuckers that y'all motherfuckers was out there motherfucking running with. So, Dorothy, for any of y'all that's continuously trying to motherfucking do all of this crazy ass shit. Like calling Dyfus, fucking police reporting, saying all of this other shit about me. Not one time did none of y'all motherfuckers talk about none of the cruddy ass bullshit that y'all had going on in y'all motherfucking backgrounds and shit like that. Because you was already married to they fucking father, big fucking Johnny. And that motherfucker was a fucking woman beater, motherfucking child, fucking rapist, and all type of other shit that he fucking did to your fucking daughter. And then you allowed, and then you fucking try to turn the other cheek. Like, y'all motherfuckers think that I don't know a lot about the shit that went the fuck on in y'all motherfucking lives. But you gotta fucking remember, motherfuckers be sitting around talking about that shit and... These are things that I motherfucking observed and heard and, you know what I mean, you know, had a fucking front row seat to growing the fuck up. So for y'all motherfucking hypocritical ass motherfucking drug using, pill popping, motherfucking gang banging, want to be motherfucking somebody important and relevant in this motherfucking world, all of y'all could kiss my motherfucking ass on some real shit. 
on some real live shit. And y'all sat back and thought that this shit was motherfucking funny when my mom got on the motherfucking thing and asking could she get help. And then y'all motherfuckers feeling like y'all entitled to know everything and all the shit was going on when y'all motherfuckers, y'all threw, y'all knew the fucking story because of whatever the fuck y'all sat around and heard y'all motherfucking people's talking about or whatever. So everybody was sitting there passing judgment instead of trying to bring resolution to the situation and still figure out what the fuck really happened and what the fuck really went on. And then boom, right after Keyshawn, boom, here go fucking Tehran. And then the motherfucking year ended off in 2019 with my motherfucking grandmother fucking dying and shit like that. And everybody motherfucking that got a hand in part and, you know, knowing what the fuck was going on about insurance policies and all that type of shit. All of y'all motherfuckers looking good and motherfucking stupid right now. As you should. As y'all fucking should, because y'all cruddy as fuck on some real shit. And y'all should really fucking be ashamed of y'allself for the hand that y'all play and people deaths and fucking fucking people fucking committing suicide and shit like that based off of the shit that was going on and everybody trying to motherfucking keep shit quiet and shit like that. Y'all all motherfuckers, y'all all going to burn in fucking hell for the shit that y'all allowed to transpire in y'all lives and in the lives of other motherfuckers. And then y'all motherfucking took part in covering up fucking deaths and all type of shit. Fuck all of y'all motherfuckers. For real. Fuck y'all.